My name's Dan Coffin. I'm the Director of Emergency Management. Laura Rodriguez, um, Asmac Chief. Very good. All right. Uh, this is the grant on the closing year of 2011. Uh, I try to keep it simple. I'm new at this game, so I'm more of a person who's on the street. That's where I shine. Uh, we have about planning. We have about 34 uh, divisions that we work off from on the book. We work off the the list of lists when it comes to the chemicals on those facilities on who can be recognized, not recognized, who we can bill for, not bill for, on the amount of either weight or gallon, depending if the chemicals are solid or liquid. Um, number of facilities right now are 85. Exempt facilities, we have about um, 29. Those are your, a lot of your infrastructures. They might be um, fuel stations. Gas stations need to give us the report, but they're exempt. Government agencies, um, some emergencies like fire stations and stuff like that, that are now going to back up generators that have certain things in there. They let us know, but they're exempt because they're nonprofit. High risk. Um, is our highways. Our highways will always be high risk um, over transport, mostly because we are surrounded by so many interstates. We deal with three major interstates because we have state highways that we deal with. Because we are divided, the county's divided by North Fork Southern. So it's harder to get the information of what the rail is traveling through because under their new standards, but one time you could look at a rail cart and just by the way it was painted, know what was in it. If you look at some of the cylinders that are going through the rails these days, they're all painted black. If you can't read the placard, you don't know what's in it. And that's because of a lot of new standards on transportation. As far as facilities, we are like a medium when it comes to threats. Industry in this Lebanon County has done a very good job controlling their chemicals. So that makes my job easier if I have to respond to them. Most of them are usually pretty well prepared with the material data sheets that we need, locations of chemicals, if we have an incident. So it works out pretty, very well for me on what the way that they pre plan. On the financial end of it, um, for planning, we build the facilities, the service facilities we can build. It's a hundred dollars that we build to do the planning. A lot of them do a lot of their own planning, um, and forty dollars per chemical, depending what the chemical is. Um, chemical that was reported in feeds under Act 165 was about seven thousand eight hundred dollars. On the planning side, we got about $3,400 on that. We got a NAC 165 grant, so that was about, we ended up with $11,280 on that. So we ended up the year there after Spanish NAC. I think we had all state federal grant, HASMAC grant, that was another 11000 Three hundred and eight dollars we received from that. So we are pretty well still staying kind of self-efficient, um, which is working out good for everybody. Um, on as far as grants coming in and that, the problem with grants is that you have to submit, timeline, verify, and that, and that's something I'm learning right now as we're going along. As far as training, we train both within county. We meet every Wednesday night and do training. Everybody's welcome to show up on them. But uh, I've only been on the job, uh, you guys know, just a couple months. So right now, I'm on the paper part of it, figuring out what the need of the team is, mostly what's the need that we can provide to the county with the changes that's been going on in the county. <coughs> Approve submitting this report or this certification. You're certifying the numbers that Juan just talked about to submit to the state. Okay. I'd like so to moved. Make a motion and a second to accept Juan's report. And
and uh, thank you. Uh, any questions? If not, all in favor? Yes? Aye. Aye. Wait, 